Cardio Confessions 18. Mark Lobon at TigerFitness.com. Surprisingly, nobody trains on Sunday mornings in the South. The Bible Belt. Hold on, man. I gotta think. I don't have my list with me. I was asked by someone, you know, how I stay so motivated, how I'm so optimistic at life. I'm on the stem mill right now, by the way. Level eight. And my answer is, why not? You guys gotta realize where I came from. My mother was a drug addict. My father died of complications from type two diabetes. Every day, I get to wake up in a beautiful house next to my gorgeous wife. Next to her is my five week old newborn baby. Then I walk upstairs to my office and I have a beautiful seven year old girl who's excellent at soccer. She has big things ahead of her. Smartest in her class that I know of. You know, tests at fourth grade level in first grade. Obviously she didn't get those genetics from me. We got an awesome son, Thomas, you guys know and love. And uh, you know, motivation is optimism. Look from within. Think about all the people that wish they had your situation. You know, I can look back and say, I wish I grew up like Mitt Romney. Oh, I wish I grew up like this. Why? We grew up how we grew up. And our learning experience, our entire personality is molded by what we came from. And we can either thrive off of that or die off of that. And what I do is I know no matter what life throws at me, I've had something thrown harder at me. Whether it be, you know, people trying to bring me down or whatever. I know for a fact, life is good. And at the end of the day, family, friends, loyalty, that's all that matters. You know, you, um, you have your family. Even if I had no money at all, we lived in a shack. It wouldn't bother me. As long as I have them, as long as I have their love, it's really all that matters, isn't it? You have all these material things. If you notice, if you notice, ask Van, <coughs> ask my business partner Chad, ask anybody. I'm not a materialistic guy. I drove a Toyota Corolla up until I grew out of it last year. Um, I don't buy clothes. I'm not into materialistic things. I never was. All I care about is take care of my family, take care of my friends. You could ask anybody, you know, that's, I'll drop everything to help somebody out. So, how do you stay positive and optimistic on life? Think about someone else, think about a paraplegic. Think about someone who doesn't have what you have. Think about someone who wishes they were in your shoes. The next time you wake up in the doldrums, feeling like, oh, woe is me. Poor me. I don't have this. Mitt Romney has a better car than me. You know, look at yourself and say, hey, you know what? Life's pretty damn good. I don't care who you are if you're watching this. There's someone out there who has it worse than you. And just thank your lucky stars that you have what you have. Whether it's that one family member who loves you, a wife, a girlfriend, a boyfriend, whatever it is, that should be enough to keep you going. Tell them that. Ah. Um, on that note about positivity, I've been having to delete comments. I said I wasn't gonna read them, but just got to the point where these people get out of control. I got a question for you trolls. I really do, and this is, I'm not trying to incite anything. Does it make you feel happy? Does it make you feel like more of a man? Does it make you feel like you've accomplished something when you do nothing in life but go in and speak negative and put other people down? Is that what you thrive on? Do you get off on purposely going into other people's videos? Chris Jones, Jason Blaha, the twins, me, Van, and saying things that are negative? Why not just keep it to yourself? I've always been told if you have nothing nice to say, don't say anything at all. I did a video yesterday saying that teens, people without experience, should really be careful 
and stay natural as long as they can, unless medically warranted, before they use steroids. I thought everybody would love it. I thought that was the responsible thing to say. All I got was, well, you're on this. You're a hypocrite, you're on that. Here's the deal, guys. My medical history is my fucking business, okay? And that's besides the point. If someone asked me advice, whether it be from a, I'm not saying this is me, I did this so don't do it type scenario. You know, like a scared straight program, hey, I did uh, cocaine, don't do it, or whatever. The advice I'm offering, I don't see how you can find fault with someone telling a teenager not to do steroids, because their dreams of being an IFBB pro. And on that note, I'm gonna keep this shit short. Another debate in the car confessions from yesterday about money and bodybuilding. Everybody kept bringing up Mr. Olympia. How many gyms are there across North America? Hundreds, thousands of gyms. There's about 20 people, 20 dudes in the Olympia. At nationals, there's over 400 bodybuilders. At regional shows, there are 100 bodybuilders. In a regional show, pretty much every weekend for 20 straight months, <laughs> across the country. You're looking at less than 0.2% of the bodybuilding world getting a level and make money. Someone brought up sponsorships. Talk about guns like I ain't got none. What you think, I sold them all? I own a supplement company. I am the man who sponsors those guys. They ain't getting paid shit, guys. The top five, yeah, they're getting paid okay. Not A-Rod type money. Not a ton of money. You'd be surprised how little these guys get paid. They are not living on the high life. Jay Cutler does well for himself. Jay Cutler also works hard. What BPI has him doing on that bus, guys on the road, he's working. He's earning his money. Nothing comes free. If you want to do it for the love of it, again, I don't see how y'all can get mad at me saying, go for a natural pro card. There's just as much, you're probably more likely to earn money. And about that kid dominating, if you beat Doug Miller, if you beat Cleveland Thomas, okay, I give you permission to step it up to the next level and start juicing. If you beat Doug Miller, I'll cut off my left testicle and give it to you. I'll even fry it and serve it with a side of okra. You ain't gonna beat Doug Miller. He's the best of the best. You ain't gonna be Cleveland Thomas. <laughs> so once you can beat those guys, then you come to me and say, hey, I'm ready. You haven't reached your genetic potential at 19. But, you know, of course I'm gonna trash for that, which is fine. I offer advice. I get emails every day and I try my best to answer them. And I had someone come in, he asked me a diet question, he came in and commented on me, I asked this guy, what fat burner take? And he told me lose one to three, two to three pounds a week. First of all, I'll tell you lose two to three pounds a week. I say one to two. Second of all, shit, I could have misread the question. I answer 700 emails a day, at least. So if I misstated something, I'm sorry, but I do my best. And you guys who email me can, uh, can vouch for that. There's only so much time in the day, and I don't have the time to write an essay, I answer the question, I move on. If you don't like it, don't fucking ask me a question. But don't go come bitching in my video about it when I'm trying to help you for free. If you send me a check, I'll give you five minutes of my time to fucking talk. How many people out there comment in this video, call me and I pick up and talk to you? I get a few calls a day. And no, I'm not upset I gave my cell phone number. I'm here for you guys. That's that. I'm out, guys. Cardio confessions. No one's at Super Fitness. On Sunday morning, in the dirty, dirty, dirty south, I used to play ball at the YMCA. It's not a game. Yo, 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 yo. Yo, 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 yo. Check it, yo. Listen to this North American, you and you did the faulty heritage. I'm not the medicine, better than majority of them. Cause of the jetic pen, trapped within the negative zen. Labels a hidden gem, hidden what?